Pharo Scan Plan and Pharozone 3D, transforming a 2D map into a 3D diagram. In this video, you will see how to import an SPL file into Pharozone 3D. Use two methods to create a 3D diagram from the Scan Plan map and lines layers. Adjust wall transparency and color, and add symbols and doors. Ferrozone products give several ways to perform actions to remain flexible to different conditions of data. In our example, we've created a lunchroom map with the scan plan, optimized the scan, and saved it to a USB stick. With Ferrozone 3D open, insert the USB stick. The data will be scanned and SPL files will be displayed. You can select the desired map and click Open or from the Home tab, click the Import drop-down and select the Scan Plan icon. Navigate to the desired SPL file and click Open. Type SA to select all and use the grips to orient the project as desired. The file comes in as a set of three layers. Click the Layers command on the Home tab. Layers can be hidden or locked. The scan plan map is on the map layer. Individual lines are created based on the map and are on the lines layer. The items layer contains the annotations, photo markers, and video markers. The first method for turning a 2D into a 3D diagram, type SA on your keyboard to select all lines. On the multi-select tool panel, click the line command and select the wall command. Change your perspective and see the 3D walls. You can recolor the walls or make them transparent. Select a wall and click the Color command on the tool panel. Change the color by clicking the color tile and selecting a color from the palette. Like the blue? Move the transparency slide for a see-through effect. Repeat with each wall. You'll notice that this map had several breaks in the wall due to windows or open doors and extra lines which were those open doors and appliances or fixtures that obscured the wall. The second method prevents these issues. Import your SPL, try tracing the map, open layers and hide lines and items. Select a cursor align command to activate the continuous line. Click the starting point and notice the red alignment bar that makes alignment a breeze. You can still navigate the diagram with the right mouse button without closing the continuous line. Here, we're tracing the wall, recognizing that features obscure it and using the red alignment bar to set the actual line. Click at each point of directional change. Now, click Line Type on the tool panel. Select the Wall command. As with the individual walls, you can select color and slide the transparency control to see through the walls. We'll repeat with the hallway walls. We have walls. Now, let's add doors. From the Power Tools tab, click the Structure drop-down and select Door. The door is loaded into the cursor, so simply move the cursor to where you want to put the door. Notice the measurements, indicating exactly where the door is on the wall. Repeat a command by pressing the spacebar on the keyboard. Inserting a window follows the same process. Let's start stocking the break room. Click the Symbols tab. Select the appropriate catalog, then the category, subcategory, and the desired symbol. Place with a click and a second click to orient. Use grips or the tool panel to move or resize the symbol. Wait! It looks like our tracing was a bit off. Not a problem. Select the wall and drag the grips to bring it in line. We'll hide the map by opening the Layer Tool Panel and clicking the Layer's Visibility. We're almost done. Let's throw some tables into the break room. Symbols tab, Catalog, Category, Subcategory, Symbol. Place the table, press the spacebar to repeat the command. We have now replicated our break room in 3D from the Scan Plan 2D map. We have only scratched the surface of all you can do in Ferrozone 3D. We encourage you to take the training available as well as watching the videos on the Ferro Academy YouTube channel. You'll find Ferrozone 3D to be intuitive and powerful.